This is Malcolm341. In today's video, we're going to look at a tool I created that dynamically measures the distance between multiple verts. Measuring things in Maya has always been kind of painful, and this makes it easy, so let's check it out. Okay, so if you own the full Mega Script Pack, the icon for the new tool is right here, DM, which stands for Dynamic Measure. Click it to open the toolbox. And now I'm just going to create a cube and I'm going to scale that up and let's just make it 100 centimeters just so we can see the tool in action. And so the tool is really easy to use. You select two or more verts. So I'm just going to select these two and you click dynamic measure and boom, there you go. It creates the measure super easy with one click and it tells you, oh, it's 100 centimeters. Now, what's really cool is that it's actually dynamic. So if you actually scale the object, the measure will update in real time. You can uniformly scale it and you can even rotate it, which is super interesting. The other cool thing is you can actually move the verts. So check this out. As I move just that one vert, it actually updates the measuring. So this is way better than the Maya one where you have to constantly keep re-measuring stuff. This will just magically update no matter what you do. So that is super cool. And all of the transform tools work in the vert level as well. So if you're at a scale, it'll do that. One thing that you wanna watch out for though is for whatever reason, undoing doesn't work. So after you create it and maybe you selected the wrong vert or something and you wanna hit undo, don't do that. Just come over here and all the stuff for that measure node is stored in this dynamic measure group. And so what you wanna do is you just wanna delete it. Undoing won't hurt anything, it won't corrupt your scene, but it'll just leave a bunch of mess in the outliner. And what else is really cool is that the measurement is measured in whatever units you're currently working in. So I'm in centimeters right now, and so it's 141 point whatever centimeters, and I've built in all the units here. So if we switch to feet, it updates. That's 4.63 whatever feet, inches, meters, centimeters, and millimeters. So if you're working with architectural stuff or just need to measure real world units, it can be super helpful because you can measure stuff and then find out what the feet is. Or you can just work in whatever mode you want and the measure tool will just always display the correct measurement. Another thing to note is that the tool only works on vertices. So if you don't have anything selected, it's just going to say, please select two or more verts. And the tool does not work on NURB surfaces. So it's just something to be aware of. Moving right along, the tool also supports measuring the distance dynamically between multiple objects. So I've got two cubes here. I'm going to go into vert mode here, and I'm going to go into vert mode here. And now it's important that you click the vertices in the correct order. If you don't, it won't know where to draw the tool to. So you don't want to use the remember selection. You just want to click on nothing and then select the verts in the right order that you want to measure. It doesn't matter the selection order when you're only measuring two verts, but when you're measuring more than two verts, you need to make sure it's in the right order. For this example, I'll just do two. So here, check this out. I'm going to select these two. Boom, dynamic measure. Now watch this. If I move the object, it will actually update the measure in real time. And then again, I can rotate the object and I can scale the object and it will all update that measurement automatically as you go. And then, of course, you can move this one as well. So it's all fully dynamic. It's kind of the best. I really like this tool. It's super neat. So here is another more complex example. So I'm going to right click and go verts verts and verts. And then again, remember, we need to deselect that or it's going to get confused. So I'm going to measure from here to here to here to here across three unique objects. Click the tool. Boom. Totally automatic in one click. And then again, it updates in real time. So as that measurement changes, it tells you the length. And then the really cool part is it doesn't matter what part you change. It always tells you the length of the curve. So even moving the middle one can change stuff because here this can make it longer. So super powerful. And then of course you could do something like that or do something like that and it will always update. So you always know the distance between whatever points you selected. You can also create multiple measure nodes on the same object or between multiple objects. So if we wanted to measure vertical, that and then whatever scale it and then we also wanted to measure this 
There's another measure node. And again, they both update automatically. And then you can, of course, go between objects. Just remember, you got to just deselect the verts in the right order. So measure between that. And then, sure, let's go between this and that. Deselect, reselect. Boom. So you can create as many as you want. And they're all conveniently updating in real time. And they're all conveniently stored in these little groups. So it's really easy to get rid of them if you need to clean out the scene later or whatever. There's some weird history on your object and it's not working correctly. Just come in here and delete those. And there you go. Everything's cleaned up. And then finally, because you can measure multiple points and it shows you the full distance of the full curve, this measure tool will also work on curved surfaces, which I don't know that there's a way to do that in the default Maya one. So again, you need to select the verts in order. And you also need to make sure that the window is open before you do the selection. If you do the selection before the window is open, the tool will get confused. So make sure the tool is launched. And then let's go one, two, three, four, five, six. Click it. Boom. And it gives you the curved measurement. And then again, if you scale it or whatever, scale it this way, or if you move the vert, it will update the scale in real time. So you can actually measure the surface distance of an object that isn't just like between two points, flatten it out and it goes less and less and whatever. So there you go. I think this is gonna make measuring stuff a lot easier for everybody in Maya. If you've already purchased the Megascript pack or the modeling pack, this will be a free update. So you just need to download the same file again from your original email link to get the new stuff. If you haven't purchased the script yet, you can grab the script by itself in the modeling pack, or you can get it in the mega script pack. So take your pick. Thanks very much for watching this video. Without viewers like you, this channel would not exist. If you liked this video and enjoy the channel, please support me by purchasing something from the online store. Each purchase goes towards creating more video content and keeps the channel ad free. See you next time. Have a magnificent day.